What's going on guys, it's Austin. So I over traded today. This is day three now of me trying kind of a different strategy when it comes to futures. I'm implementing as, uh, you know, I've been doing a scalping strategy basically over the last few days. Um, and on the first day I had like four, I had like th four, uh, five or six trades, which is still more than I would usually take. Um, but because it's a different strategy, you know, the amount of trades you might take might increase if you're scalping versus if you're doing kind of looking for those bigger moves. But anyway, on, on the first day I took probably five or six trades and I think like three or four of them were break even and then two of them were full profit and I didn't have any red trades on day one doing that strategy. So I actually made $400 on that first day doing this. And then on day two yesterday, um, I, uh, so we're gonna take a look at my, at my trades from today, but um, on day two, I over traded. Yesterday was very choppy and I just, I just was, in one little consolidation period, I was like hacking away at it, trying to get that, trying to get that move, kind of FOMOing over and over. And I did that on stream, and it was very kind of embarrassing. I mean, you can go watch it, um, but I took like, I think yesterday I counted all in all, all said and done, I took like nine nine trades. Um, uh, a handful of those were break even. Most of them were red trades, and then one of them was the full profit green trade. And the way that this strategy works is every loss, I'm only risking per trade, I'm only risking a point and a quarter. So I'll only be losing like 60 bucks for every time I lose. But those losses can add up if you're just over trading in, in choppy action. So that's kind of what ended up happening yesterday. But luckily, I was able to get one one of the trades was green and so on that trade i made four points and so i made back like a bunch of the loss just from one trade now i did end up losing yesterday but i think yesterday i lost about 175 um and then here today i actually recorded the session uh today uh and uh you're gonna take a look at here my my trades from today so this was let's see this is kind of right off the open here 9:45, perfect time of day at this point i mean in hindsight looking at today's session it was very very choppy um, but at this point in the day that wasn't super clear yet um, of course it was an FOMC day and then we've got CPI tomorrow so I did kind of know going in that this was a day to probably wrap up early um, and not stick around super long especially if you're looking for that continuation so this this whole strategy this whole this whole scalping strategy is really based on getting that continuation, getting that follow through. So if that's not happening, then it's not gonna be an effective strategy. So this was my first trade. Uh, we got that, that move down off the open, then we'd spiked up. Um, you can see what that looks like on the five minute over here. Um, and then uh, here, the idea was we came back into this kind of nine EMA. So just like a general pullback into this kind of fractal structure right here and then just looking for that next push if we're going to break above this candle that touched that that pullback if we're going to break above that that's kind of my sign that we're making that next leg up on the on just this one minute chart and looking for that move into 3615 um you know this does look like a very kind of aggressive buy stop it's very high up i don't typically like that i'd like to get in kind of lower um but um you know I don't wanna really get in until also, it's a trade-off, right? If you get in late or whatever, you might call it chasing, but you might call it confirmation, right? Looking for confirmation if we break above that candle. Um, and then just looking for that really quick move into 36.15 and that would be that would be it. That would be my full uh, four points and I'd be out of that trade. So 36.15 right, is right around in here. So it kind of makes sense that we might come into that spot at 15 um, before maybe ultimately turning around. But uh, let's take a look at what happened in this trade. So this one I was watching for this one to come up. It does start to come up. I've got, I'm wait, I don't have my order set there yet. I'm waiting, I'm hovering over. Then I click right there to, to place the order um, as I'm watching this, liking this. Um, and I could have waited a bit longer. You can see that there's a, if I fast forward 30 seconds here, I'll just, I'll just scrub this back. Um, so then you can see the candle comes up. There's 20 seconds left on this candle. There's a bar timer right there. Um, and just waiting, waiting on this. Um, comes up, meets the high of that candle there, and then pushes through, and then I'm in. 
and I think I got a little bit of slippage. Um, I'm in at 1075, which is a little bit mysterious because maybe if someone can cons explain this to me, that would be great. But I have my buy limit. This is a buy st a stop limit at 1050. So I thought that that meant the stop is at 1050 and then the limit is at 1050, I thought. So I thought I would be getting 1050 or I'm not in at all. That's the way I understood it, but I guess that's wrong because I'm in at 1075 and what you're gonna see is that this pushes up and then reverses and it stops me out right there and I'm out. So again, I'm only risking a point and a quarter on this. This does end up reversing um, lower here. Um, but anyway, so that one ultimately I did get stopped out of and then there it rips a minute later up to that 15, up to 20 before coming back down. But that one, uh, unfortunately, I did miss um, and I'm not really sure what I really could have done about it. But uh, yeah, that one just ripped right through. Um, but, but I got stopped out first. It actually came down to 07, so yeah, oh well, um, that one, you know, what what can I say? <laughs> um, all right, so then there's a bunch of other action. Here's my second trade. This one ended up being break even. So the way that this strategy works is that if I can get the, if I can get it to go a point and a half in my favor, so there I'm in the trade. So the idea here, if I can get it to go a point and a half in my favor, then I'm uh, automatically, it sets me back to auto break even. So I can't lose on that trade. So the idea here is we made a low on the five minute, we're under our, the, EMA, the EMAs there uh, and the moving averages. So, I mean, we've, we're, we're coming down um, and the trend is lower, barely, but it is. Um, and then, so we had that push lower and then, you know, into the, into the EMAs here and then looking for that snap move lower. And, and, and on other days you would get that, right? You'd get that snap move to, to 35.95 general support. Um, and I don't regret taking this short um, on a trade where I can get this right there. It pretty much instantly went to break even for me. So on those type of trades, I'm perfectly happy um, to to get break even there. Uh, I think that that's a sign that it was going in my favor to some extent. Ultimately, it ends up taking me out here. Um, but you know, we hung around this one for for a second. There it looks like it's gonna come lower. It looks like it's, you can see that there. It wants to break, there it breaks, but it instantly just doesn't get that follow through. So we're up two, over two points there. Looking like it wants to go. I mean, this is a trade where it just, it, you know, doesn't it seem like, I, I, I don't know what to say. Like the fact that this didn't end up working out is just tough, I think. Um, on, a, on another day, this, there's, there's really nothing that could have, so there we go. I mean, there I'm stopped out break even. You know, you might, you might say, so that, unfortunately that just ticked me out there. Um, but I do believe it comes higher. Let's see. Yeah, so I mean, it just ends up coming back up. You know, it's just choppy, you know, and so we're not getting that fall through. Um, but I think on another day, a trade like that would have worked. Um, and then after that, I want to show you guys the rest of my trading. So um, this is all just sim stuff, just goofing around in the simulator. But this is not. This is that was TCP, and this is where it all went wrong. So you know, after that trade, I took a break. You can see I was. I. It looks like I should have been done at that point, right? Um, but unfortunately, I was not. What I was looking at is I had this triangle um, marked out and uh, and was looking for this kind of breakout in here. And that's where it started because I thought we were breaking out here. But this ended up being a break-even trade. Then here, I tried it again as we were looking like we were breaking out. Took a loss again. That one I got stopped out by one tick before it ended up coming up. Again, even that one, it, I wouldn't have gotten four points. At some point in here, I changed the strategy so that my target was just looking for two points because I knew that we weren't getting continuation. But, I mean, certainly there's no excuse for how many trades I just took in here. So again, on the on the heels of yesterday, where I traded in the choppy day, and I had a very similar kind of spot like this where there wasn't any follow through and I had trade after trade after trade. So this is at 11 o'clock, you know, and it just, 
it's just a mistake. I thought I kept looking for that. I kept looking for that break, right? That continuation candle. And I knew I was like, if I can just get one of these to go, if I can just get one, then like I'm green on the day all of a sudden, if I can just get one, but it just, it did never come. So we took the full loss here. We took the full loss here, break even, break even, full loss here. And and that was it. This last one was kind of a five minute trade, uh, trying to get the bounce right here off of that off that gold line. But yeah, anyway, it just, it looked good. It looked like it was coming up, pull back. I was looking for higher, but um, ultimately it did move higher, but you can just see how choppy the action is. So really this strategy just does not work on days like this. And I knew that, and I knew that. I knew it while I was trading it. I was like, I can't, I, I was literally actively trading this um, and, and and telling myself like this is just too choppy like it's it's not gonna work and then i would see it like set up again and i'm like uh oh, i gotta take it through the highs and i took it through the highs and then it would take me out break even if i on these trades if i had had my target at just you know one or two points you know i might i, I might have actually gotten successful scalps on all of these um i think all of them went in my favor like you know a point at least if not if not two or, or two and a half but you know the way I had my strategy set up was I was looking for four points, and it wasn't until later that I, I switched it to only looking for two points. So I think on choppier days, this strategy like it can even work for just like a point or so. So I think on these choppy days, maybe the strategy is just like, you know, set the target for two points. Again, don't trade after 11 a.m. I wrote all this stuff down. I I, I wrote all this stuff down. But um, anyway, I want to just lastly say that I mean. I'm expecting tomorrow to really open up. I'm expecting better action tomorrow. After that CPI comes out, we had FOMC today. It was still choppy after that, I noticed. But once we get once we get the CPI out of the way, I really expect some volatility to come tomorrow. And I do expect 9.30 to 11 and, and probably even after 11 to give us price action that will be much more conducive to the strategy. So all in all today, I lost $250 in the TCP. Um, I am negative <laughs> on the I was two days ago I was positive then yesterday happened and then today happened and now I'm negative like 300 bucks on the on the TCP but if I can just get two t tomorrow I have my ATM strategy I, I have the profit set to 20 I'm thinking about changing this uh, that's yeah so that's that's five points so that's five points uh, so and then that's that's kind of my plan so I had it set to four points for the last couple days and today. But tomorrow I'm actually setting it to five points because I expect tomorrow to give us good continuation. And I'll wait and see what the price action looks like at the open tomorrow. But I expect this strategy to work much, much better on a day like tomorrow where we are bound to have higher volume, we're bound to have some sort of trend. If not trending in one clear direction, we're bound to have some, some good swings um, that can get you can get some follow through scalping uh on those so i'm excited to trade tomorrow and hopeful that i will be able to just if i can just get two winners if i can just get two winners th screw it throw a couple losses in there as well that will make in you know two winners two losers the nice thing about this strategy is it's very 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 high rr it's a one to five basically um is what i'm going to be doing tomorrow so if i can be nimble pick my spots um, and not do this, right? The only way this strategy can really hurt you is if you overtrade because those losses will add up. But because it's such a good risk reward, if you pick really good spots and go with the market and, and, and look for those spots, this was a spot right here where it actually would have been good. Um, I This one actually would have worked. So taking this one at like 09 and then we got a shot up to 14. So that one would have worked for five points. That would have been nice. So there are those spots where it would work, but even on even on this choppy day, but I really expect tomorrow to be much, much better. So yes, this, this is looking terrible. I regret this, and especially after yesterday where I did basically the exact same thing. And yesterday I was like, I literally wrote down, I was like, you know, I need to not, you know, market has to have clear direction. We need follow through, we need trend for the strategy to work. Like I understand all that. And and still today I made the mistake. So I'm, ho I'm hopeful that tomorrow I can come in, pick a couple good spots. I don't want to take more than five trades tomorrow. It is a scalping strategy, so I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say I can take more than three trades, but I don't want to. Five is gonna be my, my limit. Five is gonna be my absolute limit. I'm not gonna take more than five trades. Let's see. Today I took one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Too many, too many. Uh, even for scalping, especially just in this re region, this is just brutal in here. This is where all I was only down, you know, on I was only down like sixty bucks, you know, um, and then I just compounded all that on, on right here. So anyway, um, so yeah, hopeful for tomorrow. And then the very last thing I want to say is I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow uh, morning. So I hope to see you guys there and um, also credit to Bob Anderson. This really is his strategy. So I will um, I will throw a link to hit to his channel in the description because I was watching his videos and I really, you know, I, he sh he's the one who created this strategy basically. And uh, and I've, you know, I've, ch I've the way I'm using it is a little is maybe a, a little bit different, but really it's it's his strategy. And uh, and I think you know he's showing that it can work I'm just trying to learn how to use it and I'm clearly right now just over trading with it I know he didn't even trade today so um, anyway guys that is it for me I'll be live tomorrow morning um, and hope for better action uh, if you guys appreciate these recaps um, I appreciate you hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing to the channel if you are new um, TCP 50k account. I'm in, I'm in a 25, but the 50k account is lower priced than the retail price of the 25k account right now. Link in the description. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So hopefully you guys appreciate these videos and uh, I'll see you guys live tomorrow morning. All right, that's it.